everyone, it's Mike here, Global Voodoo, and in today's video I'm going to show you six clothing items, including one pair of shoes that I sold on eBay. All this stuff is, uh, I picked it up all at thrift stores for probably a dollar or two, give or take, and turned around, took some photographs of them, listed them on eBay, and sold them. So let's get in this video here, it'll be pretty quick. Here, this first item is a Nike Michael Air Jordan Flight Jumpman uh, 2XL track jacket here. And we, we had fifty three eighty eight on this one here. We took an offer of forty five dollars on that, and that one went priority mail. Uh, majority of what you'll see here is the shipping is free, uh, and all of our listings here. Next item here is a Nike Team Sweden Hockey two thousand two jersey, and uh, this one here was all sewn. It was nice and it was really nice, really thick. It had a little bit of a mark right there. You can see, um, but. We were asking 75 and we took an offer for 60 on it. Next one here is a 2002 Eminem original rap concert shirt here. It's got the tour dates on the back. Let's see if we get that to show. There we go. 2002, uh, the Eminem show. This one sold for 32.88. This next one here is a. Uh, I don't know if I'm pronouncing this right. AXO Italy motocross uh, off-roading Kevlar. DuPont pants here. These actually went overseas and uh, as you can see just uh, threw these on a hanger and actually used a nail on a wall to, to hold the the hanger and the pants up and just shot it and cropped it. So uh, we're asking $45.88 and we took an offer of $40 on this one here. So uh, not, a, not a bad little score on that one. Here this one actually sat for a while. This was a pair of 1984 Nike baby blue suede women's shoes and uh, you know, the, these older Nike shoes do pretty well, but for some reason I couldn't get rid of these if <laughs> my life depended on it. It was crazy. Uh, but uh, they had some marks on them. I cleaned them up the best I could. Those bottom rubber soles there were just nasty when I got it, so I did a little bit of my magic and cleaned it up. But overall, uh, they did sell, and we'll take that. They were asking forty-eight eighty-eight, and took an offer of $40 on those shipped. And finally, this last one here is a brand you guys all should know. is Tommy Bahama. But most importantly, when you're looking for Tom Bahamas, you want to look for the Santa Claus series, the holiday series that comes out every year. This is a 2006 one. If you remember and you've been watching me for a while, I believe this one was in one of the videos me and Kim did with uh, the thrift haul. As you can see, there's a Santa there. And I knew these would sell. It's just It just takes time sometimes at a higher price. But we were asking $82.88, and somebody came in at $75, and we took it. So uh, be on the lookout for these holiday... Santa type Tommy Bahama shirts, man. They go for primo coin. So, uh, you know, it, it's some of those things too. You know, when you're buying some of these items, go out there and, you know, like something like this, you get it. I mean, yeah, you could flip it for 20 or 30, right? But I mean, here, I mean, this, this took some months, but, you know, we, we got top dollar for it, $75. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did enjoy the video, please give me the thumbs up. If you're looking for more information, you can visit my website, pickforprofit.com. Looking to follow me? You can go to my Facebook, Morning Cup of Joe. There should all be links down below. You can also visit um, and join my Facebook group, The Resellers Roundtable, completely free. A lot of cool content in there. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you guys have a great day and happy hunting. Peace.